it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is a get ready with me because I'm going to a goth event thingy. It's a once a month thing in Southampton called Apocalypse. I think they do it in other cities as well but I can't remember which ones. So this is my makeup for the night. I've gone for like a two-tone green and black eye with metallic -y shimmer, um, green freckles with some glitter freckles and then a green metallic lip. I've not done my hair yet or picked my outfit, I thought I'd better film the intro now <laughs> before I forget because I'm just about to start drinking. Um, so keep watching if you want to see how I achieve this look and what I look like and then I've got everything together. Right, I'm going to start off by um, correcting my base. So I'm using the CC concealer from I think it's just from Primark, it's just a green one, so I have so much redness. the Kat Von D Locket thingy in uh, Light 42 and the Model Zone Runway Drops in white. I'm going to use more white than normal to look even spookier than normal. go back in with a bit more white because I'm not as pale as I could be. Next I'm going to go in with my concealer, the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in White Out. areas stay super light. I'm going to bake with Cryoland's translucent powder um, in TL1. And then in the places that I'm not baking I'm going to dust some powder over that to keep that matte. I'm going to do my eyebrows and I had these done today but I don't like them <laughs> um, they're not even like this shape is like nice here but this one isn't as defined and that top bit looks annoying so really annoying but yeah hopefully I can fill them in and make them more even Okay, so now my eyebrows are done, I'm going to dust away the powder from baking and then I'm going to contour, set my base and highlight. This is pretty much my normal routine, so I could probably fast forward most of this. It looks so funny with just the base and eyebrows. It looks so weird. I'm going to contour with a slightly different shade this time. Um, I'm going to contour with the grey from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Quad in Smoke because like I said this is going to be a more intense gothy look so I want it to be super super cool toned and I don't want brown I want grey. Obviously the lighting is not just bad in this video but it's bad in this room. I tried to film earlier, well I was planning to film earlier in the day but I didn't get home till 6 because I had work and then we made dinner and then ate it and then by the time we finished dinner and finished watching the episode of Bob's Burgers we were watching it was just, it's like the sun has set now so we're just using whatever little bit of light is <laughs> coming in through the window and then my room light which is shit because it's tungsten lighting I'm hoping that in April, when I get my student loan, I can get a ring light and then my videos will be like, pow. But, 
I'll have to see. I know the one I want, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Right. Um, oh no, I've got to contour my nose and my chin. Wow. Expert. Pro. YouTube. Guru. Beauty guru. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I didn't bring anything to pre-drink with upstairs, so <laughs> I'll have to get, use brush cleaner to pre-drink. <laughs> Jake, you're not laughing at my joke. You're not being a supportive boyfriend. Let's be like, wow, Blaze, you're so funny. I'm going to use a domed shadow brush from Real Techniques to attempt to contour my nose with this grey. This could go horribly wrong. set the base and the brows with a setting spray and this is the MUA one because I've run out of my Urban Decay one <laughs> sometimes. Then while that is still wet I'm going to go in with my highlight because it sticks better if I go in when it's wet and I'm using up my Revolution Vivid Bake Highlighter in Golden Lights. It's not great but it's like the only one I have that's actually no I was going to try the other one wasn't I? The Revolution highlighter from Golden Sugar Palette. This white and gold shade here at the top. I don't know if it's any good, but I thought I'd give it a go. It looks like popping on camera. I don't know how well it's gonna last. I'll see already. There's like nothing there. No. Okay, I don't like that. I'm gonna go back in with the golden lights vivid baked thingy it's like the only highlighters I have are from revolution and they're not very good but I'm waiting on some from Colourpop which should be coming within the next few weeks and they are going to be so good hopefully um right that is my base done I think relatively happy with that okay so I'm gonna try and zoom you in and we'll start on the eyes Right, I'm going to start off with um, my Naked Smoky palette, like always, and I'm just going to take the brush that comes with it, and I'm going to put, I'm going to take Password, which is this shade here, oh my god, every time I show like a palette you can always see like the, the spooky thing I have up there, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to take Password here, and I'm going to put that all over the lid and in the crease. So I have something to blend the colours into. Right, so I'm going to start off with my Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette, which has, oh, there goes the brush, all these shades here. There's so many, it's upside down, so the mirror's not in the way. <laughs> um, there's so many cool colours in this palette, but I'm going to be taking this middle one here, this green, which is called Hatter. And I'm taking, I think this brush is from Topshop, it's an eyeshadow brush, and um, it's just like a flat brush. So I'm going to take that Hatter shade from the inner corner right up until about halfway along my lid, and I'm just going to pack that colour on there. Slightly blending out that last bit. Um, towards the outer corner to diffuse it slightly so it's easier to blend in with the black in a minute. Now that it's packed on I'm going to take the base shadow brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to start blending it out into the crease a little more. So I'm going to clean off that same Topshop brush. I'm going to take my Metal Matte Palette and I'm going to use the shade Jet, which is the uh, matte black shade in there. And I'm going to put that from the halfway point on the eye across to the outer corner. Now I'm going to get my favourite blending brush ever, which is the 202. 203 brush from Real Techniques 
and I'm going to blend the hell out of that because it is so messy right now. This little tiny brush which is the it says accent brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to go back in with Hatta and blend that into the black a little more. Same small brush, I'm going to add some Hatta to the inner corner on the lower lash line. take some jet from the metal matte palette and line the outer corner of the lower lash line. Now for this I want a shimmery look on the green of the eye but I don't have one green shade that fits perfectly um, with this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend together two colours. I'm going to take this shimmery green colour here, this light green which is mean and then I'm going to take what from the metal matte palette which is this shade here which is too dark um, so if I mix them together then they should be the right shade so I'm going to start off with what the darker colour I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to pop that over where we've placed Hatter and with a different finger I'm going to take mean and blend them in together. In case you've lost any of the black, go back in with that blending brush. On some eyeliner with my normal collection eyeliner and I'm going to try and keep this quite thin but I want quite a big wing. Next I'm going to add some mascara, I'm going to use my normal one which is Perversion. I'm going to add that to the upper and lower lashes. Okay, so I'm going to put my lashes on and they are these little lashes and I don't know what ones they are because they weren't in the box. Because um, this will be like a, a rewear of them. So. Sorry, I don't know which ones they are. Okay, so I've got my lashes on. I was going to put like individual ones on the bottom, but I can't seem to do it with these nails, so we're going to have to miss that bit out. Um, so I'm going to go onto my lips instead. So I'm going to be wearing Jeffree Star's Crocodile Tears, because it's my favourite colour liquid lipstick at the moment. Then once that dry, once that dries over the top of that, I'm gonna add this. No, that's not what I want to add. Um, NYX's Cosmic Metals Lip Cream in Out of This World, which is a super cool metallic green, so it'll match the eyes. Not quite dry yet, though. I'm too impatient. I want to add something else more interesting to this look, but I don't know what. I might do green freckles because I feel like it's still kind of not exciting enough. <laughs> This lip is really really cool, but the only thing is it's not like touch proof or kiss proof or anything so I'm probably going to have to top it up a few times this evening, but I don't care because it looks really cool. Okay, I think I am going to add green freckles. I'm going to attempt it with this and then if I don't like it I'll use the... Actually it's probably a smart move to use the liquid lipstick first, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to use my silicone liner brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to dab the crocodile tears on my hand and then I'll work relatively quickly because it will set and I'm going to add some little green freckles and I'm going to do them really small because I don't want it to be awful. Okay, and then in amongst those I'm just going to wipe off that brush and I'm going to add in some green sparkly freckles with Collections Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner in Spandex which is number 12 and again I'm going to pop that on my hand 
oh my god I think I just flipped this off on my head how did that even happen um yeah I'm gonna put it on my hand and then go in and draw some freckles with that again I'll have to work quick before this sets hopefully this shows up Okay, that is my makeup look finished, so now I'm gonna pick an outfit and style my hair and then I'm ready to go. Here's my final look. I've literally just messily put my hair up in this half ponytail thing. It was pushed up, but it fell down because I didn't have enough grips. Um, I've got a choker from Camden, uh, this little, what is this called? Like a, a meat cleaver <laughs> necklace that's got some blood spatter on it. I got this from eBay a couple of years ago, but I'm sure you can still find them somewhere. And um, this upside down cross necklace from Primark, just on this random black chain. This top here was from, oh my god, where is it even from? This top was from New Look, and I got it in the sale for like six pounds, but that was like two years ago, I think. So probably can't find it anymore unfortunately. Then I have this skirt which was from, I'm pretty sure it was from Asda but it's just a plain black skirt you can find it anywhere. And then some super thick fishnets or super big fishnets and they were from Poundland at Halloween. <laughs> yeah but I haven't decided what shoes I'm going to wear yet because I'm still pre-drinking so yeah I think we're going to leave in probably like another 15-20 minutes and I need to find a jacket to wear because it's going to be cold. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was really long and rambly, but um, yeah, I like to talk. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments what you think about this makeup look. And yeah, also if you have any suggestions for any other videos, let me know down below, because at the moment I'm just filming a lot of like makeup-y things and hauls and get ready with me and makeup stuff but if you guys want to see anything else let me know below and also don't forget about my Q&A tumblr so if you have any questions then I'll leave the link below and you can leave me some questions for a future video be it anonymous or not bearing in mind if it's not anonymous I'll read out your username thingy so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>